Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing something actually a bit different. I wasn't going to make this video but I, I kind of felt like I had to because um, I just want to talk to you guys about my experience with this 3D printer. Now this is called a TiVo Tarantula and it has all the options you really need for a very good price. Uh, I got it for $250. $250. Now let's, I'm just going to quickly go over the, the specifications I'll tell you what I how long it took me to set up and what I had to do and, and my experience with it so far. Uh, it does come with a heated bed which is awesome and it does heat up very well. And it comes, they gave me three extruders. They gave me a Titan, a Bowden and a Flex extruder which is just amazing. Titan I guess is the best one. I'm not sure yet, I'm still a noob in this. But I just stuck the default Bowden, just the, the one that just does regular plastic really. Uh, just so I could find easily find uh, if I, if I have any problems I could easily search and find uh, how to fix it because the other one I kind of searched before I put it together and I couldn't really find anything so I didn't want to risk it there. Um, what else does it come with? Uh, they give you two filaments and the kit itself right here and a very good manual and and you also they also give you this uh, LCD and it, you could just take your SD card in there and start printing and you could even control it from here and even change the parameters while it's printing which is just absolutely awesome now my experience with it um, I got this on Friday uh, which is yesterday and today's Saturday so I opened it today well I opened it last night a little bit just to look around and just kind of just played around with it a little bit for like an hour I got to play with it but uh, just it was just it's just a kit so it was just just op opening the box and looking what it comes with and maybe just put little two pieces together so overall this build actually took me around five six hours which i thought would take me a day or two and maybe a whole week to fiddle with it until they get it print right so it actually just took me six hours and the firmware the software on the board i was actually searching before i built it and then i just kept searching till i found some a lot of people were just recommending this one so i didn't even use the default i don't know what comes on it as default i just flashed what i found and I had no idea what to expect. So I just built it, plugged it in, and um, I, uh, oh, oh yeah, and I forgot to say, it also comes with the auto level sensor, but I did not put that in because the documentation on it wasn't very clear and it was very scary and I really didn't want to fiddle with it. Since there's a lot of YouTube videos that tell you how to just level the bed with a piece of paper. So I just watched a couple of videos and I just tried it. So I leveled the bed. I took this from Thingiverse, I'll leave the link in the description below, it's called the XYZ Calibration Cube Test Thingy, and um, this was my first print, I, I still can't believe it, this was actually my first print, with no modifications, so yeah, this is, I, I say this is actually absolutely perfect, I mean, I, I was just absolutely amazed, and I forgot to mention one thing, I even broke it while I was building it, this side's supposed to be uh, held together with four wheels like this side, but I broke that right there so as you can see the acrylic that's supposed to be a wheel there holding to this side here so this side's hanging with three wheels that side's hanging with four wheels and it was able to print this so when I, when I broke it I was like oh hopefully I can print the part that I broke and then if I get it to print just right but then when I saw it do this I said hey I'll just print a, uh, a spool holder since I need one very bad because it was just getting very annoying to actually just keep uh, just feeding it with my hand but Overall, I am very happy and I'm very pleased and my experience has just been absolutely phenomenal. The, the support, uh, the, 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 the instruction manual was just perfect. I just followed the instruction manual and then I just got it printing right away. So this is basic, this is my third print right now. And just because I hit the bed, I see it just kind of uh, screwed it up, but that's, that's fine. This is my first, we call it our first screw up, but that's totally fine. That's just my fault. Um, overall, this is a good printer. I'm very happy I got it. I'm very pleased with it. And I truly do recommend this for anyone who's starting into 3D printing because I just, I just put it together and just started printing right away. So this is just absolutely amazing. And, um, I just wanted to share this with you guys and it was just, it's, it's just a blast. Look, I'm already having what I need right now without any modifications needed so far. So that's very good and um and that's really it that's all i could say right now that this is just an amazing printer i've had i've had no problems everything was in it i even had extra screws i think i didn't even put it up together correctly too i had some extra acrylic parts in the bag that i didn't even bother with so i just saw it put together and that's it and uh, here i go i'm printing away right now 
and this is my third print so this is within the first three hours of me setting it up this took me about an hour and a half and this is going to take me another possibly hour and a half so I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this since I pushed the bed or not but I think I'm just going to leave it I'm just not going to waste the filament here oh yeah and it does come with two filaments so that's just awesome they give you PLA and ABS and right now I'm printing PLA so if you ever get started just start with PLA because ABS is a bit more complicated because you have to have the bed on a certain temperature and I just hit it again and uh, you have to have uh, the nozzle at a specific temperature well you, all of them you have to have the nozzle at a specific temperature but um, yeah this is just awesome so here's the cube so it's just, I'm just absolutely amazed and I'm very happy and very pleased and I just wanted to share this with you guys and uh, if anyone's thinking of getting this, get it, why not? This is just absolutely amazing. I just, it's just working phenomenal. So that's going to conclude it for this video guys. I really hope it helps someone out there and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know and I will see you next time. See you guys, take care.